Good evening ladies and gentlemen, how are we getting on? In today's video we have some details of the upcoming Bombs Drop event, which has been uh, teased on the community calendar for a while now, so we've finally got some details on that. We also have some more information about the arrival of Steel Dawn on the public test server, as well as a reminder about the upcoming Hunt for the Treasure Hunter event, which begins today. So, let's jump in and take a look, shall we? Okay then, so brand new inside the Vault Blog post today, and as I say, we've got a few little bits and pieces to have a look at that are quite interesting. We've also got a little streaming update for those of you who are joining us on the live streams, but I'll put that in on the end, so uh, if you want to catch up with that, just have a look out at the end of the video. But, let's get to the news. So, upcoming events, PTS update, and more. Welcome back to Inside the Vault. This week we're sharing a preview of what's in store for the community on Bombs Drop Day, with three in-game events that will begin next Thursday. A little later today, we're playing an update to the public test server to begin playtesting Steel Dawn Quest content. We are also sharing a reminder to claim some riches from the mole miners during this weekend's Hunt for the Treasure Hunter event. Read on to catch the details. So, Bombs Drop Day Event Stravaganza. Slightly a little bit laboured there, but uh, okay, I get what you were going for. <laughs> so, on reflection, I think we should probably have guessed what they were going for here. Especially once the dates became clear with the community calendar update a few weeks back. But, uh, yep, totally flew over my head. So, uh, kind of uh, disappointed in myself there. But uh, this is quite a cool concept. I think Bethesda could possibly have done a little bit more with it. But I suspect they're very focused on Steel Dawn at the moment. So I imagine that's why they haven't. But hopefully, in uh, future years and stuff, this will actually become a really cool little event. So, we'll see what happens. But... We remember October 23rd every year as the day the bombs dropped, when life on Earth changed forever and mere survival became much more challenging for those who remained. The fact that you not only made it through that harrowing time, but emerged from Vault 76 to begin building new lives in Appalachia is cause for celebration. So yes, October 23rd, which will be, what, day two of this particular event, is the anniversary of the Great War in Fallout. So yeah, that is what the event is celebrating, and as I say, once we found out the dates, that should have been a little more obvious, which some of you guys may have guessed. It flew right over my head. I'm a little disappointed with myself for that, but uh, what can we do? So, what's the details? Starting next Thursday, October 22nd, so week today, we're honouring Bombs Drop Day with a trio of in-game events, including double XP in all game modes, double score rewards for your daily challenges, and 25% off any legendary weapons and armour you buy from Purveyor Mermiga at the Rusty Pick. Join Bombs Drop festivities next weekend if you want to level up twice as fast, rank up with super speed, and fill your armory with some new legendary gear. Here are the details. So, on top of the stuff we've already been told about, this is an extra double XP event, it's an extra double score event, and an extra cheap legendaries event, which is very, very cool. I'm going to get maximum value out of that script, another opportunity to do that. There are some more coming up, I believe, in November. But uh, this is a cool little thing to see that we're getting an extra one of. So all that stuff, very, very welcome. Looking forward to that. So the details are, includes double XP in all game modes. So that's Nuclear Winter as well as Private Worlds and Adventure Mode. Daily Challenge Double Score Rewards. So yeah, you'll be able to rank up in uh, Armor Ace and the Power Patrol a little bit faster. I know I'm pretty much on track with that at the moment, but uh, a few extra opportunities to get a bit further ahead is always welcome we knew they were going to do some extras anyway so that's cool and extra legendary sale is always welcome get your money's worth so the event starts at 12 p.m eastern time october 22nd and runs through till 12 p.m eastern time on october 26th so that will be thursday through monday as per weekend after this coming one and 12 p.m eastern time equates to 5 p.m uk time so very very cool i was hoping this was going to be a little bit more of a specific event and um maybe something more unique and a bit more dramatic uh, especially given the event that they're commemorating as to exactly what they might do there not too sure i'm sure they could find some way of celebrating it random nuke drops something like that i'm not sure that's really a great way to celebrate the great war though on reflection hmm. but um, nonetheless the things they are including in this weekend long event are pretty cool definitely very welcome with the xp and uh, double challenge certainly make getting that uh, level up every day thing <laughs> that much easier which is always a bonus yeah, very, very cool. So, new quests in the public test server. So, those of you on PC and are playing through Bethesda Net will be able to access this ahead of time if you like and help playtest Steel Dawn. Very, very cool. 
So as I said, I was debating one way or the other, but for several reasons, some of which we'll get into in a moment, and mostly because I don't want to ruin it for myself, I probably won't do this. I might have a little shifty around at some of the locations, maybe do a video on that so we can have a little uh, look at what's coming in terms of at least locations, things like that, which will be fun. But we can thoroughly avoid any spoilers for the story, things like that, that way, hopefully. So do keep an eye out. We'll see what we've got coming on that. Notification bell is your friend on that particular point, as usual. So, over the past couple of weeks, players have stormed the public test server with, to share their thoughts and bug reports for the upcoming Kelp Shelters feature. Now we'd like to invite everyone who owns a PC copy of Fallout 76 through Bethesda Net to join us in playtesting the new Steel Dawn quest content in the PTS. We're aiming to add new quests in an update for the test server a little later today, awesome, and we'll post in the PTS forum as soon as the patch is available. If you want to get to these links by the way, as usual I'll put a link to the blog post down in the video description. We'll also share instructions on how to begin those quests, as well as some key areas we are looking where we're looking for your feedback. So they've got specific things they want to test out, uh, as per usual. As a reminder, while there is no non-disclosure agreement this time, this is basically because quite a few uh, YouTubers and streamers have said, um, is it an NDA or not? They've been a little vague on that on the last couple of times, so uh, they're coming right out and making it clear this time. We ask you that to please warn others about story spoilers when discussing quests outside of the PTS forum. Obviously, if you're in a PTS forum and you're going to complain about spoilers, you kind of walked in there yourself. But uh, yeah, for videos and the like, they're requesting people make sure they say, yep, yeah, heads up, spoilers in this. So yeah, I think we'll avoid the spoilers personally, but uh, definitely looking forward to at least having a nosy around some of the locations, that sort of thing. So Looking forward to getting stuck into the content proper when it drops in what is supposed to be December for now. Of course, it may or may not get pushed back. Depends how the test server run goes, that sort of thing. That's the most recent date, time scale type deal that we've actually had from Bethesda. So provisionally working on that basis would make sense. Get it done before Christmas. That'd be cool. Thank you once again to all who have shared their thoughts on camp shelters with us. We're still actively discussing everything you've posted so far and admiring your awesome screenshots. Even though we're now kicking off quest content, playtesting shelters will remain available, so please keep the feedback and bug reports coming. We will see you in the PTS. So I'm going to keep testing shelters as well. Always good to know. Now, as usual, via Bethesda Net, if you happen to have the game on PC, you can jump into the playtest server and try out this new stuff as of later today, actually. Assuming all goes well. They had a bit of an issue trying to get the PTS up for uh, shelters, so hopefully it'll all go well, but this is why they have a test server, because things sometimes don't. So, last but not least, Treasure Hunter Mole Miners are back. Last week we shared details and the changes we made to our hunt for the Treasure Hunter events based on community feedback, and now the hunt is ready to begin. Starting a little later today, Treasure Hunter Mole Miners will breach the wasteland surface to scour the land for riches. Seek them out in all regions of Appalachia, and take down any treasure hunters you find, then open the mole miner pails they drop to claim some loot for yourself. You can also gather camps and take them to vendors around Appalachia to purchase empty mole miner pails, use the Tinker's Workbench to turn them into full mole miner pails, and enjoy some on-demand loot. Catch the exact start and end times for the event below, and we hope you join us to collect some mole miner pails this weekend. So we covered this last week in the video, which I'll link up in the corner as per usual, um, but the general gist of it is the first time this event came around, there was some pretty strong feedback from the community about things we weren't quite happy with, so on and so forth. It was the earliest days of the test server, or possibly even just before the test server started, so their ability to work through this stuff was a bit limited at the time. So they've taken advantage of that over the course of the summer, and the changes they've made look to be very positive based on what I saw on the PTS myself. So it looks very, very cool. So your opportunity to get these more minor pails and the associated legendary gear that comes with taking down the mole miners as well, will start at 12pm Eastern Time, October 15th, so that's today, and will end at 12pm on October 19th, so I believe that will be Monday, unless I am very much mistaken. Yes, it is. So, 12pm Eastern Time being at 5pm UK Time, as per usual, pretty much the same time they do everything. So, all in all, very, very cool. Yeah, looking forward to the Hump them uh, Treasure Hunter event, that's... Uh, it's going to be good fun. Last time we had a few issues with the, the loop not being that great. They've overhauled it, given us some new rewards available from the event, and separated it from the Christmas event as well, so we should get a better range of loot. The Treasure Hunter Mall Miners can spawn anywhere on the map, not just the Ash Heap, like the last time, so that basically means more opportunities to find them, more places to go and look for them. They literally do pop up everywhere if the test server is anything to go by, so that's really cool. And, uh, of course, partly due to one wasteland and partly due to the fact that they've tweaked the event itself, they will now 
level up uh, in accordance with your character, so you'll basically be able to get legendary drops from them that are suited to your character level. So, obviously that still caps out at level 50, because that's as high as um, gear levels go, but you will actually be able to get those top tier legendary weapons dropping, and armor of course as well, dropping from the treasure hunters, whereas the first time around it was limited to 30 or below, I think. Lower in a lot of cases, so definitely an improvement there. All in all, should be good fun. Hopefully we'll get some cool rewards, get some rare rewards. They've also made the rare rewards less rare, which is welcome, I think, for most of us. So that's very, very cool as well, so looking forward to jumping in on that. Um, as I say, Steel Dawn on the PTS, probably not going to explore the story content uh, prior to Steel Dawn actually coming out, mostly because I don't want to ruin it for myself. And also, it kind of, unless I jump into the PTS again for subsequent story updates, then it just extends the amount of time I have to wait for the next major content beat. So, all in all, I think I'll stick to just having a look around the new locations, that sort of thing, seeing what we can find out and showing those off. And it means I can avoid any spoiler story, story spoilers rather for anybody who wants to avoid that. So, that's cool. What was the other thing? Yeah, bombs drop. So, yeah, looking forward to trying that out. Not quite as dramatic as I was hoping for, but nonetheless, double XP, double score, those are always welcome. Cheaper legendaries with a purveyor, also always welcome. So, kind of got a lot of legendary stuff going on at the minute. We've got this sale going on this weekend, and then Treasure Hunter, more miners the weekend after. So, plenty of opportunities to get those good legendaries, and if you're in the same boat as me, we've basically got your legendaries sorted out for most of your characters. A couple of them, not so much, but then you can basically just turn them over script and work on them getting the stuff from, say, regs in Vault 79, that sort of thing. So should hopefully speed you along that a little bit. Admittedly, it's probably going to fill up your stash in your carry weight. <laughs> but such is the, the price we pay, unfortunately. But yeah, all in all, very, very cool. So if you're not interested in live streams, thank you very much for hanging out. I hope you found this useful and informative. Social media links, merch store, all that usual good stuff down below the video if you want to support the channel that way. Thank you. But for those who are interested in the live streams, as per, we're going to be continuing with that Monday to Friday. The big thing, however, is I've encountered a slight snag in the last couple of days. Those of you who were around for last night's stream will remember that uh, we had a few technical problems getting things off the ground. But uh, as it relates to Fallout, I've hit a massive roadblock in that um, I use OBS to stream. It's the software I use to encode and send out the stream. And it has multiple ways of capturing the game footage. But the best way of doing it is currently not working. I think it's tied to um, update 23 on Tuesday, yeah, basically because of the testing I've done and the fact that it was origi originally, this problem was originally on the PTS and is now on live as well. But the upshot of it being that I can't capture the game during the usual way, through the usual method I would like. I have to use either a one of the two other options available. But if I do that, it represents a massive hit to the FPS of the game either just below 60 frames or in some cases just below around about the 30 mark which is god awful and will not make for great viewing either so until Bethesda get this sorted out unfortunately I don't think I'm going to be able to stream Fallout which I'm really gutted about but um, I am also playing in um, appropriate style for the current season <laughs> something a little bit creepy and spooky in Prey so this game is a bit longer than my original plan was for a, a Halloween game, so well, the bright side I suppose to this issue is that I can play a bit more Prey instead and hopefully make progress in that and still manage to get that all done and dusted in time for what will be coming next month, which I'm very much looking forward to. So that's basically the update on the streaming situation. Obviously if you follow on social media, that sort of thing, I'll keep you updated on that and I will try and let you know as soon as the Fallout streams are going to resume. Hopefully Bethesda will get this sorted soon. I'm like 85% sure it's a Bethesda issue as opposed to an OBS issue. OBS has updated a few times recently, but uh, unfortunately, given that it used, it was occurring on the test server, now it's happening on both, and it's just after the patch. Evidence is pointing Bethesda's way. I've obviously submitted feedback to them, so fingers crossed, but we'll see what happens. And uh, as I say, I'll keep you updated as I can. So social media will be the best place to keep an eye on that sort of thing. It's a good place to keep an eye on anyway. So... I do hope you guys found this useful and informative. If you did, please do drop likes and subs for me. It's always very, very much appreciated. Social media links down in the description if you want to catch up with me on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. Got some cool stuff coming up on Instagram for too long as well. That should be good for uh, eyeballing. And yes, please do join us for a little Horizon Zero Dawn and pray. And as soon as I can possibly get it working again, some Fallout as well on the live streams. I do hope you'll uh, drop in for those. We have a lot of good fun. But for now, thank you very much for watching. And I look forward to speaking to you all very, very soon.